Hi, I'm Louis Tomlinson, and this is my most requested live iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat. Thanks to everyone for sending their questions in, and a huge thanks to Romeo for the support. Cool. Nice. And then can we just move on to the yeah, questions? Is that all right? Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Louis. Will too. Okay, Sarah from the Philippines says, when are you going to finish the album so you can start touring? Please come to the Philippines. I'd love to come to the Philippines. The support is always uh, incredible, that side of the world, and, and, and specifically Philippines. Um, and I'm working on the album as, as quick as possible, believe me. Okay, Georgia from the Isle of Man asks, what made you change your mind to get a tattoo since you said you never liked them at the start? I think all of yours are beautiful and amazing. Well, that's very nice. Um, I've definitely got some silly ones. I, I don't really know. We, we decided, um, well, most of us actually, except for Niall, as a band to get these little ones on our ankle. And then I suppose I just, I just start getting addicted, yeah. Ooh, I Iona? I, Alona? 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 Alona from London. I hope I got your name right. Alona. Alona from London. When did you write your first song? Oh, um, I reckon I tried. I was in a band at school, but it was more like a cover band. We didn't really uh, do our own songs. But I reckon I tried to start writing lyrics around then, so maybe like 14, 15, but some really cheesy, horrible stuff. Yeah, I'll have to dig them out sometime. Chanel? I've seen that spelling before. <laughs> Chanel from Little River asks, how did you come up with Miss You? Um, so I had the concept for a while and I just took it into um, the writers in the session that day and um, you know the six boys and, and, and also um, Julian Bonetta worked on it as well and that was that was really nice. So um, it was just a concept that I'd, I'd had for a while and um, it was really something that I wanted to kind of convey of kind of being in that situation of constantly going out and kind of being a bit numb to it all really. So uh, I think we really captured that with the song, so that's cool. Tanya from Mumbai says, hey, how was your experience with collaborating with Bibi Rexa? Uh, Bibi was amazing, great girl, super talented, and, uh, and really fun as well, so I enjoyed it, yeah, real good. Nicole from Manhattan asks, who's the most famous person that you've wanted to meet but haven't yet? Um, that is a good question. Um, well, I would have loved to have met. I would have. I would have loved to have met Michael Jackson, um, just because he was such a perfectionist in the way that he worked, uh, and yeah, just a real legend. So it would be uh, amazing to have met him. Can you do? Oh, sorry. Bobby from Dallas asks, "Can you do impersonations or accents?" Um, I secretly like to think I'm pretty good at accents. Uh, I'm not too bad at Niall Horan. I can do a Niall. Um, I'm not too bad at Irish. Uh, I've got a few, that actually wasn't the best Irish, but yeah, I've got a few, I've got a few, more to come. Rayu? Yeah, nice. Alice from Rayu asks, thanks to do this chat, yeah, you're, you're welcome. I love your music, here is your question. How did you proceed to write your song? Music first, the words, or both together. Love you so much. Thank you, Alice. Um, well, we normally, I normally go into the room with a title or a concept and start off and say, this is what I want to write about. And then we'll kind of build the music around that and we'll have, like, we'll build up a little track and then from there, we start writing lyrics and, and doing melodies. So the concept kind of comes first, then we do the music and then the rest of the song kind of forms around that. La Plata? La Plata. La Plata. Donya from La Plata asks, what are your favorite songs to sing in the shower? Um, oh, anything I've been listening to. Um, what, do I, what do I love to sing in the shower? I probably quite embarrassingly sing quite a lot of my own songs in the shower. It's a good time to warm up and stuff. 
good acoustics and all that. Um, what other songs do I sing in the shower? Pro probably Oasis songs, yeah. I mean, a bit of everything, really. Michelle from DC says, since all your former bandmates have solo projects, is it surreal when you hear their songs playing and they're singing solo? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's surreal to a certain degree. It was definitely surreal for me to go. I actually went to watch one of Niall's concert shows and that was more surreal for me to actually see him on stage and, and, and perform. Because uh, obviously I've only ever seen him perform when, he, when he's been stood next to me pretty much. So it definitely is surreal, but it's, uh, it's amazing to be able to have that experience because obviously we didn't before. So it's nice to be able to cheer on from the sidelines as well, definitely. Ames from Munich said, did you ever think about dyeing your hair in what colour? Um, there was, I mean, I'd love to say no, but there was a bit of a phase when I was like 13, 14, um, especially like the, 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 the chavs, the working class of, of England really liked to dye their hair um, and have streaks in it, blonde streaks, and it was really quite an awful craze, but I, I did want to get into it. Luckily, my mum stopped me, so no dyeing my hair. No, I'm, I'm not a fan, actually. Not for me, anyway. Okay, Lisa from Philadelphia says, when are you going to release your own merch and what would it be? Um, I'm working on doing it as soon as possible. I definitely want to do track suits first and foremost, so we'll start with that and, uh, and then we'll see. Lauren from Atlanta says, what's your fave swear word or phrase? Um, God, there's so many great ones. Um, no, I don't advocate swearing, although I do do it a lot. Um, I think just the middle finger is, is, is a real great one. You, you know, you don't even have to say anything. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. Great question, Lauren. Jackson from Grand Rapids asks, what's the most binged Oh, what's the, oh, here we go. Jackson from Grand Rapids asks, what's the most blinged out thing you own? I'm not much of a blingy guy. Um, I don't think I own anything blingy, so, so nothing, I'm afraid. Pretty boring answer, but it's the truth. Larry Van, Larry from Vancouver says, hi Louis, your dog Clifford is so cute. Have you taught him how to swim yet or do any tricks? Can't wait to hear your album. Um, I've tried to get him swimming a couple of times. He doesn't seem that keen, um, but, but I do want to get him swimming more. And he can do all the standard stuff, you know what I mean? Sit and, and pull, high five, all that. But he's, he's a great dog, he's a great dog. Brenda from Mexico City says, how many hours do you sleep at night usually? Um, I mean, it changes because I travel a lot, obviously. I find that as long as I have six, I'm good. Um, anything below that, then I'm a bit grumpy the next day. I mean, eight's the ideal number, obviously. Natty from Brazil asks, what can you tell us about the LT tour and please come to Brazil? I'd love to come to Brazil. It's an amazing place uh, in the world. I've got really, really fond memories there. So definitely, definitely coming to Brazil. Uh, what can I tell you about the tour? Um, not a lot yet at the moment. We're, we're kind of finalizing everything and putting it together. Um, it's going to be in smaller venues, which I'm excited about. It's been a while since I've played smaller venues. So um, yeah, I'm, other than that, I'm really excited about it. Uh, just, just watch this space. Jenna from Canada asks, who was your celebrity crush when you were a kid? Who was your celebrity crush once you became famous? Um, well, when I was a kid, my, my first celebrity crush was probably the Pink Power Ranger. Um, she was really fit, looking back to it, actually, the original Pink Power Ranger, really gorgeous. Um, who was your celebrity crush once you became famous? Um, I don't know, it all becomes a little bit different then once, uh, um, once you're kind of in the in the public eye as well. Um, but definitely Pink Power Ranger when I was younger, yeah, defo. Marlene from Denver says, how does a song become a song? Do you find yourself being inspired at the randomest times? Um, 
Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I've I've written quite a few song titles on the toilet. Uh, you got a lot of time there. You're on your phone, um, so that can be a thought-provoking time. Uh, other than that, I think it does come to you at random times. But sometimes um, I think if you're trying to search for it too much and trying to force it, it makes things a lot harder. So it's kind of uh, better to let those things happen naturally on the toilet. Thank you very much to everyone for all your questions. Thank you to iHeart, thank you to Most Requested Live, and thank you to Romeo. I've been Louis Thomason, thank you very much.